Welcome and good evening. Welcome to another episode of testing oil-based washes on miniature for tabletop board and war gaming. You may have seen our previous episode where we played with some poly shades and we tried to make poly shades the best shade poly shades can shade. This episode, we're answering, I think, a more common question is, in fact, poly shades a worthy competitor to Army Painter, Painter Quick Shade? So we bought some strong tone and uh, we originally bought what was this? Mission Oak. This show is a show driven by pure science. So don't, I don't want any comments about, hey, your controls were really sloppy. What the heck even was your control? No, it's pure science. For our first test of science, oh gosh, this needs, there's a lot of, uh, mm, this really needs stirred. The poly shades does this too. I think I need a spoon to stir this. Josh has a very unique stirring method. It involves a mallet, never before seen uh, stirring method. Fastest way to stir your quick shade, guaranteed. You know, what's the best shade? Cause you know, for those zombies, you know, they can be a bit messy. But you know, sometimes I want something a little, you know, a little cleaner. What's the price difference? I believe this was $7. And I believe this is 30 MSRP, 30 bucks. You see it? I mean, I, I think you do need to get some mineral spirits to help with the poly shades. That could be good. But even with that mineral spirits, that was probably like what, three bucks or something? Yeah. One thing I will say, is the army painter seems to be a, a bit more viscous which is interesting because we did thin down the poly shades at a certain stage first thing we'll do is the dipping method that's where you dunk the whole miniature into uh, your shade or whatever it is you're using what we're going to be using in in this case is we're going to um, hot glue the model to this scientific rotation tool. Go with the incumbent first. Home team is Minwax Poly Shades. Very nervous. Don't know what's gonna happen. All right, that's completely dipped. Gotta let it drip after you dip. Dip drip. One, two, three, four. I feel like it needs more though. Yeah. Three, four. That looks better. This might not be achieving the same centrifugal velocity that you would with, with shaking. a shake. Eight, nine, ten. We'll just have to do the exact same thing on the other model. One, two, three. That was, th those uh, were two half th shakes. Three sets of four macro units, one set of five macro units, and two shakes and two half shakes. Yeah, impact. one impact. To basin. And then a little, uh, a little wiggle. A little, little wiggle. You would, we would call that a, a, wig, a wiglet in the uh, scientific, scientific community. community. We'll see how that dries. For the newcomer, the only of three different colors this just looks like, like butt vomit. Like that's the color of butt vomit. There, there's just a lot of oil, uh, a lot of good useful things that are that color. That is the color of caramel and butt vomit. Got 
got your dip, got your drip. Wow, I can see already that this thing is not as uniformly sticking to the model. So this already seems to be creating more contrast. All right, one, two, was that three? <clears throat> Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, that was three. Okay. Okay. Four shakes. Yep. And an impact. One, two, three, four. We didn't get our impact. So we're going to have to do the wiglets on here. Dude, that's like so much better at creating contrast. We dipped two of them, so now we're going to try a little more controlled technique uh, with brushing the shade on and then trying to pull some of the shade off with another brush. <laughs> ah! There we go. Now it's on. Okay. So we're gonna use our particular mix of mineral spirits and poly shade that we found worked well in the last test because we want to make our models look as good as we can. And we found this mix not to um, produce necessarily better results, but uh, certainly was easier in the application. The advantage to brushing is you can kind of brush out some areas where you have too much. We wouldn't want as much shade here. I'm going to use a little mineral spirits to wipe my brush off in because this is oil. Kind of gotten to the point where the shade's starting to dry, so there's not much more I can do without really um, making the model look funky. So we'll just leave it like this. So already probably looks a bit better than our model that's dipped, but then again, it took uh, much longer. And this already is just dabbing out much easier than the wood shade was. Okay. So it's cool because it's like, in a way it's both thicker, but easier to manipulate. So I think, I feel like I've been working on this about twice the amount of time. I think I've had to work on the poly shades. And that's the other thing, it's more wickable. I'm not pulling the uh, shade off as much. So I'm getting more, by wicking it, I'm getting a more organic um, fall and lay of the shade rather than getting any kind of brush strokes. And I was really struggling uh, not to get brush strokes on the poly shades, but we can compare. All right, the last test we have to do is the uh, uh, wiping test. It's pretty much necessary, I found, to make the poly shade look good, but we'll see if, if that technique does anything to uh, improve the application of the army painter as well. Try to get through this part as quick as I can because I only have so much time to work with. All right, so this is water, not mineral spirits. Difficulty with a wipe technique is you gotta get your fingers in there and it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of limitations to it, but this is what we've created with that, so there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that just 
came came away. That wasn't good. So yeah, I was very uh, very happy with this one because it with with its wickability, a little bit longer drying time. I don't think it's twice the drying time, but it's. It's at least 50% the drying time. Pretty happy with how this came out. So wiped off all, everything on, you know, and you could easily fix that because I, I don't even think this is cheating to just be like, oh, you know, so. Sigmarines provided by Mishap Games. Uh, Mishap Games, come on down to Mishap Games. Come buy some games. Do you like games? Do you like game systems? Uh, we're expanding. We're expanding our inventory and play area. Do you like playing? Do you like retail? We've got it. We let, uh, we let those dry for, uh, for the weekend. And I just thought it would be fun to put a little Citadel Agrax Earthshade on another one of these Sigmarines. Not exactly scientific, so we'll put it to the side. But you know what, I just wanna see how it compares. <clears throat> so let's give it a dip. So I think that'll do it. We'll just take this over to the show table with the rest of the models. Come with me. So the long story short is my opinions didn't really change much from my initial impressions. I really personally felt that the army painter pulled off the dip a little better. I felt like it was more of a smooth gradient. I would have to give army painter the win for the dip. The men wax, you have more colors, it's cheaper, so. Moving on to the brushed examples. This is where I feel the Army Painter really began to shine. It was thicker because we didn't have to thin it down. It created a, a gradient much easier. There was a lot more visible brushwork on the poly shades. And then finally, the wiped examples. I don't think either one of these looked particularly great for the model, given the smooth edges and whatnot. I might actually give it to the Minwax on this one. Kind of has a gritty, dirty look to it. It just kind of looks eh with the Army Painter. But ultimately, I felt like, in general, the Minwax advantage was you have access to a lot more colors for cheaper. Yeah, that's... I do see now the... the the advantage of the color of the Army Painter Strong Tone, I can see it working over many different colors. So in that way, as a price comparison, perhaps the Army Painter would be, you would get more for your money. You might do a lot more minis uh, with the Army Painter than you would any particular color poly shades to try to match the colors. There is kind of one exception where I liked the look of the Minwax better. Not the color, just the look, um, was when I used the wiping technique. It does create this sort of rough, dirty sort of texture that the uh, Army Painter doesn't as strongly emulate. So that's something that the Army Painter does not do as well as the Minwax. So with that said, let's just look at the Citadel. And oh, yeah, did, then oh, that turned out well. That's nice. Well, you know what? I guess this is the winner. So um, there you go. Um, Citadel Agrax Earthshade. Buy it at your local game store. Support your local game store. Uh, support, support Pumper Jones Tabletop Gaming Network and support Games Workshop. There we go.